part of put that in it anyway. Yeah, that's what's going live now. What the? Just about. Um. Oh. Right, that's us. Uh, right, where's the link for folk to watch? So you just copy and paste that? Yeah, yeah. Technique or what, eh? Copy and paste technique. Only if you're hardcore will be on it, the room, because it'll be like folk that view YouTube and all Subscribers. Who's that? Don't know, just folk that are subscribed. Go to the buffs page. Aye, aye. Surely they won't be much. They'll be all over Facebook, surely. Get, I I've got over 100 subscribers on mm. YouTube because we get to change our name and all that because it's like. Yeah, let's see, that should be it. It's definitely posted. Facebook. That's it now, that's it. Eight folk watching. Welcome along everyone who's joined the, the live, live Q&A. Uh, we'll get started in a couple of minutes. I'm just getting everything posted on Twitter and Facebook so folk know where to go. And then we'll, we'll be cracking on with none other than Mr. David Syme himself. Apparently, I look at my phone too much, so people were saying when I'm on this, so I'm going to try and do it a different way this time. That's the posts. Amazing. Just live now? Yeah, it's me. Eh? So, so please do not swear. You'll never hear me swearing in a football park of that. Are you a good, a good, uh, well behaved boy? Uh, that's me. Yep. Well mannered, brought in a good evening. <laughs> <evening. laughs> Oh, yeah. So I like you. Yeah, I'm gonna actually put you on my screen so I can see you. All right, let's see. Get out of you. There we go. Right, so we're live. Let's see how many folks we've got in the in the the stream already. See, we've hit double figures yet. I'm going to do a few minutes on the the Buffs Foundation stuff, and then we'll. We'll say that you're going to shake your head if you get 10 new subscribers in the next, what, get an hour or something? Is that a... Ah, yeah, that's right. fine. At the end, I'll shake your head. Kelsey's got to subscribe 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Go ready, boys. I'll do it myself. <laughs> How's it going? I will still link the link. I don't. Definitely live. So. There's a few boys putting pictures up. Are they? What, 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 what Instagram and that? Uh, Probably the fan clubs and the David Sign fan club is in the house, apparently. There's no fan club in there. There'll be a David Sign fan club, surely. It must be like a, a fan club. Nah. Me. Just a couple <laughs> of bench warmers watching in the net. Bench warmers, eh? Is that a wee subtle dick to some people you know in the comments who are watching? Love it. 
Right, okay, so let's get started. Uh, first and foremost, welcome along to the um, this the Buffs Live Q&A with none other than Mr. David Same David, how are you doing? I'm all right. How's, um, how's lockdown going? Tragic. Tragic. Not bad. You get me to get a dog. Aye. Do you fancy it? No, the fat's already too wee for me and her. Never made a dog. Ah, well, you never know, David. Get yourself a wee dog. Get a wee, wee what would you call it if you got a dog, would you? Would you? Rubble. Benji. Rubble. Rubble. That's an interesting choice of name, for sure. I definitely don't get to decide that. She's a <laughs> Brilliant. So, obviously, for all those watching, um, we are going to have some questions with David um, on the the live QA. Just a bit about Davy himself, Davy's career, uh, and he's going to dig some dirt on the dressing room. But first, before we do that, I'm going to just talk a bit about the, the Boss Foundation. Last week, we launched the Boss Foundation live on, on YouTube. Um, has been a, a great response so far. We've got over 30 subscribers already, uh, which is in the first seven days of um, subscription. We'd love to see more. We understand, though, however, it's it's, um, it's difficult times. Everyone, if you can't do it just now, that's not an issue. Davey has said that if we can get 10 new subscribers before the end of this live stream, he'll shave his head live on camera. And I right, David? To a zero. To a yeah, zero, so yeah, absolute yeah. baldy. Yeah. Well, there you go. There you have, have it, folks. So get your subscriptions in if you want to see Davey Syme shave his entire head off. Did you not go for a, a, a wee bald day earlier on this season, though, Davey? Aye, I've done a two. I've done a two and a oh, a two. One the side. Do you do it yourself? Eh? Yeah. Do you do it yourself? Aye. Aye. Then you go to the barber for that one. Oh, the Turkish. I'm, I'm a Turkish fan. Turkish fan, do you Um Somebody's already commented here saying, um, I better get a mention that's a like Cameron Russell. I don't know if you know who Cameron Russell is. Somebody, <laughs> somebody you know. That's my nephew, aye. Hashtag fam. So he's, there's a mention, Cameron, if you've been watching. So stick around to hear all um, about Uncle Davey, I guess. That's it. The man's yeah. a tricky, tricky forward. Right. So we're going to be straight into the questions in. Um, and just a bit about the kind of season, I guess, pass. Obviously, we heard that season um, was, was cancelled by the, the SJFA. So... What's your thoughts, just basically on the the season pass so yeah, far? I think I think it's the right decision to kind of end the season. We obviously the amount of games folk have to catch up and stuff like that. Be, Guilty Hearts has been given the title, whilst they've still got tough away matches to go to and BSC and Bonnie Rig and stuff like that, and they've gave them the title. So I kind of I put a tweet up the other day saying, "What about the juniors?" I think obviously, I think in hindsight, Ocken Light probably would have caught us, but. You have to have the points to the table, don't you? Well, that's it. There's been no decision, I think, made yet. So we'll still have to wait and see what, what happens there. But personally, from, from your own point of view, how did you feel, like, as, as a player, how did you feel the season went for yourself? Did you, were you happy with your performances? Uh, I, th- I think, personally, I th- I've done OK this season. Uh, I think, obviously, we're a new group at the start. We kind of thought to ourselves, what, what, what would it turn out like? But it's turned out rather well, isn't it? So I think we were 13 points clear at the top. Obviously, I can like had a lot of games, but 13 points clear of the rest. So I think that must be must be an overachievement this season on our part. What do you think? Was, do you think that's the biggest surprise this, this season for yourself? Do you think it's the fact he did did so well in, in the league table and stuff? That... No, I think we've got, we've got quite a lot of players that are pretty good still. That, you know what I mean? I think that most of the team, we, we did fancy our chances against every team in the league. We, went, we never went into a game nervous. Uh, but I think, obviously, realistically, all getting to know one another's game and stuff like that, we thought we'd have maybe have took a wee bail to get going, but we actually hit the ground running and I don't think we get beaten 12 games or something like that. What would you say the biggest disappointment would have been this so far? There's, there's, everybody says the Scottish Cup games, obviously, against Bridget Don was a disgrace, but uh, I think the biggest one... The probably the title, the title decider probably was going to be Auckland like a wee. Eh, we were drawing one each until the last half and then kind of balled it for there. So I think that was the biggest game for me. The biggest kind of upsetting thing that if we probably went out that game with a draw, I'd probably set the record straight that we won the kind of moving away for the top. 
when we came out with a defeat and then a defeat away at Hurlford and then a defeat away to Glenna, I think it was. Obviously, we're, we're thinking about you know, when football will hopefully restart. What, what's the plans for yourself, um, David, in terms of your future? Um, there's been some discussions, I think, in the, in the press about what you, what some of the players are up to. What's, what's your position just now? Uh, I think, I think obviously, I've been offered a new contract and I've verbally agreed to sign it and stuff like that. So I think my future lies at the buffs at the moment. Obviously, we can't, there's no communication with signing things and stuff like that at the moment because this coronavirus. But I'm sure once that's done, everything will get over the line and kind of get the season started again as quickly as we can. So obviously, we're, we're hopeful of um, of getting this football back and back as soon as possible. Have you been doing much in the way of training while you've been um, uh, in the lockdown? What's, uh, what's been happening? Have you got a good programme going? Aye, well, it's a 5k every day, Strain is meant to say. I think I'm trying to average 5k every week at uh, <laughs> this moment in time. But uh, there's been a couple of challenges sent my way. So I'll certainly be put my time in. I reckon I'll be under 20 minutes anyway, because there's a few boys probably watching this and I'm fat as not been. So I've seen some stuff on Twitter. I think you were throwing some shade on Twitter uh, um, earlier about a few of the boys who have, have been Aye, claiming John. 20Ks. Aye, John Stewart reckon he has got under 20 minutes. It's just a disgrace. Do you if not we, believe him? Do you not believe him, no? We can do under 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go, Jordan. Jordan, if you're around watching, give us your comments and what, what Davey's saying. Davey doesn't think you can Gauza, do it. I've seen Gows out running an hour ago. He's kidding me, on to. He's, uh, he's coming back for injury, though. He's got, he's got, he's got, uh, he's, 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 that's he's dreaming. He's only got one leg. He's <laughs> actually got knee legs. He fractured one and broke, <laughs> had to get an operation in the other end. That's true. So, fair play, fair play to Gowser. Let's be honest. Let's give him a chance. But uh, hopefully, you'll be, you'll be keeping yourself shape then. Um, uh, I'll be not running. Keeping... Aye, aye, I'll be fitter than need to put it that way. You'll be doing pl- plenty of Joe Wicks, is it, in the house, is it? Ah uh, well, I've been doing a week. I've got a week kind of space here. I've been doing kind of core exercises and that. Nice, back. nice, nice. There you go. So, um, let's see if we've got any questions for you first before I go into some questions I have got for you. Um, so William Johnson's asking, what was it like to play in that game at Rutherglen and score the winner? Oh well, that's. I don't. Well, I think all the boys would answer that one for me. I've no stopped talking about it, but uh, <laughs> no, it was it was a bizarre game, honestly. I, I still wish I still watch the video back. I see my dad running down the side. He's he's got a limp. He runs with a limp because his knee. He's, I just run up, I just watch him run up down the side. It was brilliant. It was it was a good it was a good goal. <laughs> Sammy Sammy Taggart's asking, what kind of milk do you prefer, semi skimmed or whole milk? Obviously, female's milk. I'm an organic whole milk. Female. Mm. Female. There you go. Right, so that's the first couple of questions I think we've got so far. Let's check and see if I'm in the YouTube. Um, oh, we're going from YouTube. Um, uh, this is from Colin Brown. He said, Davey, you've had a great start at the buffs, but when are you going to get get Big Tommy to give you some pointers on heading the ball? <laughs> <laughs> I was coming for a question for Colin. Hey, I'm telling well, to be fair, I heed a leg run, I heed a reverend, so I don't know where he's getting that for. Uh, I think I think Colin's a bit jealous of my hidden ability, to be honest with you. Is that what, is, is that what it is? Right, mm-hmm. next question is, um, who's the best at FIFA in the squad? Who's the who's the best FIFA player? You'll see yourself probably, I'd imagine. Oh, no, I'm miles off it. Uh, there's a few, I think. I think we Carlo Monte just sits there and sweats it. Uh, oh, is he a sweaty, is he? he a sweaty I, FIFA I, player? Aye. I, I think Davy Markey has got a win, and I think he should be ashamed of himself. He obviously spends no time with the Wayne and the, the missus must be demented. So that's he's ridiculous, him and Carlo. I think David I think a Davy needs a wee word we sell. Must spend too much time in the FIFA. We've had a few games, haven't we? We've had a few games. Uh, been, some close games between me and yourself. Nah, you've, 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 I don't even think you've got a draw yet, have you? Ah, I've got a draw. What are you talking about? Ah, yeah, I've got a draw for sure. Definitely, um, definitely had a few draws. Uh, no doubt you that. Uh, there's um, there's definitely been a, a few draws Cl- from close games for sure. So, um, I would say, but you've moved to PlayStation, haven't you? Uh just I've got two. Obviously, all the boys were on the PlayStation, on the PlayStation, so I had to go and buy a PlayStation. So just like that, you yeah, should buy a PlayStation. 
No. Nice. Yeah, I just have to buy a PlayStation so I could play Pro Clubs and give them a weapon. Right. So we're going to get you some quick fire questions, Dave. So the first one, I'm going to ask you simple questions that are just about anything in life, really. Uh, you've got to come up with a quick answer. So, first one, who's your favourite player growing up? I'm a Russell. What do you want to be? If it, what, what did you want to be if it wasn't going to be a football player? Milk man. Fulfilled your dreams, then, eh? Yeah. What's your favourite takeaway? Indian. Followed closely by Chinese. How hot is your Nando's sauce? Medium. Favourite actor or actress? Will Smith. Or, no, Martin Lawrence. Biggest fear? Death. Your dream car? Mercedes Vito. Adidas or Nike? Adidas. Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo. That's your Ted first question. That's a, that's a good start on the, the question front. I, I'm wearing a Nike t shirt and I said Adidas. I, do, I, I was just thinking that myself. I was like, wait a minute. He's saying, he said Adidas there and he's got a Nike top on. Imagine that. Um, let's see. Get any more questions? I thought, obviously, I prefer Adidas for my bits other than. But Nike, those, those uh, shocking pinkings you had at the end of, the end of the last season? I've actually forgot my boots, actually. I've no clue for that long. The pinkings you had were. They were something else. Oh, they were indeed this idea class. P- pink ones, the fight. You've seen you coming. I've got, I've got two pink ones. I've got Nike ones too. Mm. There you go. Then. So let's see if we've got any more questions in the, in the comments. Okay. So Lauren Kelly's comment is saying, Emily says hello to our favourite Uncle Dave. Uh, <laughs> that's somebody, somebody you know. Uh, another that's, niece. That's, that's Kelsey's sister, right? All right. Okay, Hi, Emily. Right, say hello, there you go. The fan club's in. I told you the fan club would turn up. The Davy Sound fan club would, would appear. <laughs> there we go. True to that word. Right, let's see if we've got any more questions so far. Or we'll go into some some stuff about the dressing room. So we're going to ask you about the, the boys in the dressing room. So your teammates, basically. Yep. Um, let's see. So we're going to ask you 10 questions about your teammates. Uh, you've got your answer. Again, quick fire, but... Um, Let's see what um, let's see what you think of these. First question is worst dressed. Chrissy McGowan. Best trainer. Ben Lewis. The funniest. Can I see yourself? Nah. I th- I, I... Tommy. Who's the worst trainer? Alex McWaters. Who's the moniest player? Alex McWalls. <laughs> <laughs> Best player with the ball at his feet? Carlo. Carlo or Gaz. I would say Gaz, actually. Better beef. The two of them. Who's the toughest? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Han- Go Ricky Hand because he nearly smashed me at Huddleford. <laughs> you can't say yourself, come on. Uh, worst taste in music? Alex McWalls. Most no, skill. Gaffer, Gaffer, Gaffer's honking. How do you pick the music in the dressing room? Do you all have to pick a song each? Uh, no, usually Alex, Sam. The Gaffer's put his on a few times, obviously. Every time we get beat, his music's usually on. Who is the smartest? Oof. There's a few dumb ones in the other changing room. Smart, I look smart. Uh, but certainly, isn't he smart? Uh, the most smartest oh that's tough man I don't think there's I don't think there's any <laughs> I, I genuinely, I'm back I took the wind that's roasting here no I genuinely don't think there's any that's smart who's the the dumbest or the thickest I, I, I'm actually going to go for a wild one here Ali McComb Fair enough. And the final question is not about your teammates, but about your opponents. If you could pick one player you played against this season, who would you pick to be in your team? Must be. I don't know. I don't take. I don't take much. It must be Graham Wilson. Go for that. Excellent. That's your. That's your ten. 
So we know a bit more about the team, the dressing room, anyway. That's a that's a, a set. There, let's see who's um, who's commenting. No many comments on the YouTube channel, but let's see what's over on Facebook. Um, Colin Boyd has commented, the the famous ch- the chairman. What was your score prediction for the first game of the season against Clyde Bank? And now I think this goes back to the fact that you and Colin had a a bet one, was it? Uh, the two him and Charlie Brown said I three one Colin and I went no is it that was no it was three no nah, they picked three one I they picked three one and I thought to myself <coughs> no chance no one nil or one each or something I said <laughs> and I said I three five one I've got <laughs> and it was three one we played by scoring eight minutes to go I was obviously suspended nearly greeting at the side. Probably. Jack's asking, how do you find learning your trade from Tommy Maitland? Learn my trade. Can you lace Tommy's bits? <laughs> uh, it, it seems to be like a quite a quite a recurring theme of these questions. Um regards Tommy. Uh, the next one's from William Johnson. He's asking, is it true you and Tommy had a you had a bet with Tommy who would score the most goals this season? Yeah, Tommy would lose hands down, I think. So you never, you never had that bet? There was never a live bet that said... Nah, was there was never, but I think there's obviously competition because me and Tom like, like to go up for us. And we both like to take penalties, but we can't, we can't look, obviously guys bottled out of beef, so <laughs> we, we, can't, <laughs> we, can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, I'm on an action, but me and, me and Tom are choked up, man. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about basically your career so far and... We're going to go through the players that you would pick if you have to pick a team of basically 11 players that you'd want to have um, in your basically your, your all time 11 of, of, a, of teammates. Yeah. So let's, you, have you got your list handy? You got your list in front of you? I've got, I've got a wee I know, bit. Yeah. I know we, we discussed this the other day. So, uh, right. So, who are you picking in goals? Yeah, Thomas Cherney. Uh, why we pick, why? So, when I played with him, he's at Aberdeen now. Aberdeen then. So, you played the helmet, where was it? Was it Thistle, was it, they said? That's all right. The guy's right. a man, but what a goalie he is. Right. Move on to the right-back position. Who are you picking for right-back? Uh, I only played a, a couple of games with this guy, but he was obviously an experienced pro. Uh, James Fowler. And was that why? Because he was he was so experienced. Uh, he played he played one game at full-back, and he played one game at centre-mid, and he kind of strolled the two of them. They bought it. All right, so the next one. See, I noticed here you've got um, two centre backs, but we really want to have a, you and your teams. You, you're, you're going to be part of that team, so we need one centre back. So you've got to pick one or the other out of the two guys that you've, that you've well, mentioned. One of them was experienced, one of them wasn't he? Uh, Liam Lindsay's obviously at Stoke now. Uh, big Liam's obviously different class. Uh, he's obviously going to go into but do big things, but Pascali was a leader. Uh, kind of. That was my debut with Kamal. Like he kind of she took me under his wing and kind of talked to me right through the game and made me not make any mistakes. So, my milk, uh, Pascal. Aye. Uh, so left back. Uh, so you had a few names in the left back position. You've obviously uh, done uh, that about quite a bit. There is. Uh, there's Chr- Chr- Chrissy McGowan's. Obviously, you could see he's one that could progress on to be very good. But uh, I don't know. I would probably cause I played with him. Quite a lot, and I'd probably say Callum Booth. He was he was very good going forward. Where did you play with him? Who was he? Thistle as well. Okay, so quite a quite a few. Your your Thistle team. How many games did you play for Thistle? Did you play quite a few? No, no. I just know these guys. No, <laughs> I thought you were talking like you played a lot. Of, no, a lot no, of football. I played a lot. I played a lot more for Come on, okay. Yeah, I remember your debut. Come on, I was at the game. I remember it. I, remember yeah, it I, I ran about claiming a goal. What age? <laughs> you must have been what? Was 17 or something, 18? I just turned 17. I was just 16. I was nearly just turned 17. Ah, I, I remember it. I remember going to that game. It was not the QTS shirt, wasn't it? It was the blue and white stripes, yeah. the black and orange, wasn't it? I remember it. Remember it well. Next one, right, we're, going to, we're going to midfield. Um, so we'll start on the, the two centre midfield positions. Uh, 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 there's a one that stands out for me, Sammy Klingen. Uh, obviously played at a lot bigger clubs. Uh, he Wolves, Norwich and stuff like that. He played with me at Kilmarnock. The guy was the guy was class, took the ball in any situation, kinda was able to pick up ass, shield people off. 
different class, really. Uh, my other centre mid would be, there's obviously I've played with quite a lot of good ones, uh, but I think obviously Gary Fleming at the Buffs is, if, the, if he was anywhere near as fit as he can be, would be certainly. I uh, wouldn't like to face guys in his prime, put it that way. He must have been an absolute handful. All right, we're moving on to the the, the wings, left mid and right mid. Who are we going for? At left mid, I'm going to go for Stephen Lawless. Uh, he's at Livy the new. Uh, I played with him at Thistle. He was just, he's kind of quite a small guy. Uh, must be five foot eight, something, something like that. Boy, he was very good. Could take it in, both feet, turn them quick. It was His overround play was really good. Uh, followed closely by Chris Erskine, could have played there also. Hopefully, Coburn will know him well. Uh, my right mid, right mid. Josh McGuinness. Uh, if I'd played a different formation, I'd play Josh up front, but Josh McGuinness was. At first, they came in, obviously, he couldn't get a game for like, kind of Aberdeen and St Mirren and stuff like that, and come on up to him, and he just kicked on for there, got a move to Denton South into Charlton Hall and stuff like that, so now he's at Hull City. He's doing really well for you, so. I always remember Josh McGuinness and the Kelly team. See, at the beginning, I thought he was absolutely stinking. And then by the end of it, he was class. I couldn't believe how the, the, the turnaround uh, they had. Well, he, he obviously settled there, didn't he? And he's obviously came out because he was a goalie. Ah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Here as a goalie and then <laughs> ended up up front. And uh, obviously, the command up, come up kind of players, that's where you kind of settled in there and obviously done well. All right, we've got two more positions then. So you've, you went for a what they call what, a cam, is that a number 10, isn't it? Aye, it's, well, it's a number 10, aye. I would go for Eremenko. Uh, used to shout at me all the time for no gain him no ball straight to his feet if it was like yeah. two inches away from his toe, he would, he, he would just leave it and just say, play to my feet and all that. And <laughs> he, he, just, he never moved at all. He just sat there and he could, honestly, what a player. But once you got the ball to his feet, uh, after the 10th time I get the ball to his feet, he could do something with it. Ah, he was something else, wasn't he? In the yeah. in the in the Kelly team, he made he turned Connor Sam into a million pound player. I think that was one of the, his biggest achievements. You know, yeah, well, no, I wasn't there. Well, I was only in the youth teams at that stage, but obviously, I got him at the second time around, and he was oh, a, yeah. he was a bit unfitter. But at the end of the day, you could still see he's, he was incredible for such. He was quite heavy, and for the, he's quite he's chinky movement and all that. You could see he's played a level above us. I, still, I remember watching some uh, an interview with, I think it was one of these, I can't remember who was the teammate at the time, would have been, wasn't he? Was it maybe Kevin Kyle? And he was saying how he um, he always would just be playing like the middle the middle third of the park. He wouldn't, he wouldn't need to go anywhere else. He'd just take the ball in the middle and do a bit and that'd be him. No, it was, he, he, honestly, I, um, it was honestly two inches away if he still, he would leave the ball. He would genuinely, he could have, he could have just stretched and got it. He just left it and just shook his head like that. Just shook his head and just said, pass it to my feet. I'll play kind of football and that. I was just looking at him going, what the hell, man? Did that make you make your passes better, though, do you think? Did that? No, no, probably no, no. It put more pressure on me. Not mean to find his feet and that. And then, <laughs> <laughs> I was hitting his chest and all that. <laughs> Started shouting at us. Finally, your uh, striker. Who's your, who would be the, the striker in the... Obviously, Chris Chris Doolan is a special mention. His movement and that's a a, a disgrace. Uh, he's he's he could have been it, but I'm going to go for Chris Boyd. What was it like playing my Boyd in a, in a and basically like he's it was, it was it was he always, he never moved between the width for the goals. Uh, basically, just hit him, hit him, or if you tell him to run a channel, he would just look at you. Uh, so you'll never score a goal in a channel. So. He can always sat in the middle of the box and any time he can, I got a half yard man. The ball was going a hundred mile an hour at the goal. What was it like in training? Well, we always played small sided games in training, and every two seconds, if Boyd had gone in the swivel and smashed it, it's go, go, go. It's just he always worked on swivel, like touch, swivel, bang, touch, swivel, bang all the time. Is that something you tried to to bring at your game yourself when you scored that goal at Rotherham? <laughs> Well, that goal at the other I would try it 150 million times and it blaze the other bar or stuff wider. I don't know actually what happened. I can I try and re-memorise it and that. It's just never going to happen again. 
Well, we, so there's, there's Davies 1 to 11. So you had Thomas Cherney in goal, James Fowler at right back, Mamel Pascali at centre back. Obviously, he's also got Liam, Liam Lindsay um, at centre back, and he's Callum. went for Callum Booth at left back, Sammy Klingen um, at the centre midfield. You picked Gaz in centre, was it Gaz you picked in centre, centre mid? Yeah. Er, Eremenko at Cam, Stephen Lawless at left mid, Josh McGuinness at right mid, and Chris Boyd. Who would your gaffer be if you had to pick a gaffer? I didn't need to ask you this earlier, but I'll draw yeah. that in now. Alan Robertson. Kelly Youth coaches that. Was he a, a big influence in your career, was he? Uh, there's a, probably a few boys in here. Uh, he was my dad. Your dad, honey. Okay, fair to <laughs> <laughs> Your dad, I love it. Right, let's see if we get any questions. Um, yep, we've got a few questions now coming in. That's good to see. So... Um, Gowser's come in. I think he's referring back to the question you had um, at, um, about the toughest player, and he's I think he's mentioned Liam Caddis because he absolutely oh! <laughs> because he absolutely biffed you at Hollywood. <laughs> what, what happened there? Uh, I seen Chrissy at the side, kidding on he was injured again. Uh, left the boys at the three, and I was obviously eating the turf and all that. I was struggling big time. Know what I mean? <laughs> good to see him. Good to see him fit and all that. Eh? Well, I said, hopefully Gowser's back fitting well for the, for no, the start no. <laughs> the <on>. next season. <laughs> right, so we're on a question. Um, what's your favourite moment in your career so far? What's my favourite moment? Uh, obviously, obviously, making my first team debuts, obviously, has to be the best moment I've ever done. Uh, probably playing at Celtic Park. That's Virgil van Dijk and Gadetti and stuff. Of course, like yeah. Virgil yeah. van Dijk would have been a... Jason Denier and stuff like that. I played against a lot of big players that day. Yeah. I, I thought that that was probably my best experience on a football park. Guy. So we've got a few more. Um, one's from a YouTube account called Cowboy Rangers FC Buffs TV. I, I'm not sure how that is, but uh, that's not the same account I've got. But uh, they've got a few questions. The first one is... Have you ever been on the end of the gaffer's hairdryer? I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot of stories about the gaffer that like, saying he's mental and that. I've I've seen him go mental a few times. I have, but but not I, you. Ah, he's done it a couple of times at me. He, he done it to me this this year at Shelton. Uh, that was the one of, one of the proudest moments. But uh, he's done it a few times. I, yeah, I think he's on my case more than anybody else's. I always say that to him. Oh, I really do think he's, nah. he's, got, he's got it in for you, has he? Nah, what you <laughs> the other question is, who's the best golfer in the team? I'm up there. No. Yep. <laughs> 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 uh, we went out the other week there. Uh, we, we Before sat, lockdown, obviously. Aye, aye, aye we, sat, we, sat, oof, we sat and duffed that around his own course. He got his own his course and duffed that around it. Uh, the greenkeepers are trying to pick up the trees that Sam knocked down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the gaffer, the gaffer was all right. Sure, he was just oh my God. Sure, he played like an old woman, just a seventy-year-old old woman, just pop up the centre, pop it down the middle, and just there's sure with his white gear on his white clobber all clean up. Just, just <laughs> the you'll never see him in the mud. Uh, uh, Benji, 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 pulled some big moments up. He's, I think, I think a man that's good at all sports. He's, so good at F- he's good at FIFA as well, isn't he? Aye, aye, he's, he's a special mention in the Xbox day, aye. Oh, it's Benji in the Xbox, isn't he? Aye, Benji's Xbox. Oh, I want to get a new pal to play with since you've disappeared to PlayStation. Yeah, <laughs> I'll get two. Just give me a message. Well, let's see if I get any more comments. Um, I don't know, a question somewhere I've seen. Uh, right, so Blair McLaughlin's asking... Can David talk us through his sending off against Clyde Bank in the mad game in Mary Hill where just about everyone got booked and or sent off? Uh, I don't really want to be talking about that, but uh, there was a few boys get sent off that obviously <laughs> that we get warned at half time, no, we get sent off, and then we get sent off, and then big pets get sent off for saying something to the ref. So he gets sent off and then I was I don't know what the linesman was actually doing. He tried to say I gave him the kind of 
the W side, you not know I mean, I, I never did. You know what I mean? I actually, I wasn't. I was, I was just, I was doing the other way actually. And he tried to say I was doing that way. So he brung the ref here and then sent me off. And I was, then I tried to say I was going to kill him. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was was the one of the best games. I M- up with. Many games did you get banned for that? No, I got off it. Oh, did you? Really? Get off it. Aye. We were talking rubbish. <laughs> we had, we had no evidence, so I never done a thing. Oh, that's good to know. Next question uh, is: Are you looking forward to playing the new West of Scotland League next season? Uh, I think, I think, I think it's a bit uncertain at the moment. That what's what's going to happen? Is it going to be four seeded teams, or like the four seat, like four top in each side kind of thing in each section? I, I don't actually know, but uh, certainly for obviously the East of Scotland, unlike obviously seeding, didn't they? So yeah, I think for the first year it's going to be a bit. Con- Four good ones, four and three ones, and four kind of lower right, so level. conferences. Where four yeah, conferences, right. probably. So the, the year, the, I'm looking forward to the year after this year, if you know what I mean, because the, the year after the every day will merge into the leagues. Yeah, we'll go in position. Well, I guess it depends as well what happens with the things like promotion. Because potentially, you could you could win your conference and play off to play to get well, promotion think- potentially. So that's a possibility. I don't know, but I think the East played like it was all conferences, and then the top four of each conference moved into their own league. And then they made that the Premiership, League One, League Two. Yeah. So they done that, and then they done the playoffs. If you know right. what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think that's what the East. I think that's what the East done. So I don't know if the best are going to do that as well. Yeah, potentially. But we've obviously seen today, um, and the kind of online that there's been. Uh, six or seven teams have been accepted at the new league, so there's obviously quite a good number. There's a few additions to the the uh, league. Does does that really excite you? The fact that there may be a few teams that you've never played before. I uh, will. Uh, Alan Robertson, the youth team coach, come on, that's the bonnet. Oh, all right, okay. So that'll be good. Hopefully, I get to see them again in the kind of in the leagues. Hopefully, they're in the league. But aye, uh, it's it's good. Oh, good to see the new clubs and new new venues to play at. I think Bonnet and I've got their hundred seats already in and all their club posts and all that done up. So I'm sure they'll be okay. They'll be a good addition to the kind of league. I've not, I don't know the other three. So yeah, I think the one in Glasgow Uni um, and St Caddox, I think, is the other team, yeah. uh, and Drum Chapel. Um, uh, I think they're an amateur side as well. So a few new teams coming in for the. Um, so it should be interesting. Obviously for us, it's. It's a total new chapter as a as a club, so that'll be exciting. I think for for our th- side of things, have been also doing a lot of work to prepare for that as well. So it's going to be um, a fun time, I'm sure, for for the fans and for for ourselves. And um, it'll be interesting, obviously, see things like how the squad takes shape and things like that. So we're looking forward to to all that. Just hopefully that football um, um, comes in. We got a question here from Stuart McEwen. He's asking. Um, is there any truth in David's the only is only the second best football player in his household? Uh, thank God she's away out there now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh well, she beats me at two touch and all that. That's that's a fact. Uh, I'm usually kicking up the clouds and all that and whatever, bouncing off my shin and that. Uh, she's definitely a little better. She's getting me up. She, she may be watching her phone while she's she might be good. Aye, uh, maybe I. Uh, <laughs> oh, you. So the other question from from Stuart is: Was there an ambition that you wanted to be a Formula One play- driver? Is that uh, Stuart, just because Stuart McEwen drives with stabilizers on? Good run and it at two mile an hour. On that <laughs> nearly, caused a, it nearly caused a crash because he nearly went run two mile an hour. I tried to keep the horn and run him off the road. I wonder if there's a backstory to that. That's that's good. I really like that one. Uh, let's see any more comments questions get in get fire any questions on Facebook uh, Twitter or YouTube um, we'll pick them up wherever you want to put your questions in there's plenty plenty we want to chat about um, our question here is what's the what's the thing you're most looking forward to in relation to the club's plans what, what would you say is most uh, I think obviously the development of the Aquarian Sports Club uh, I think the Buffs have got big big things for it with us I think it was seven times or whatever and Kind of home seats and stuff like that. I'm, uh, I'll hopefully I stay at the club long enough to kind of see the best of that and see all the developments in that. And I think, I think winning, if if they got it right, would be one of the biggest clubs in kind of Ayrshire and could with the training facility, 
and a lot of money, they could be the, become one of the best clubs in Scotland if, it, if we could get things right. Talking about money, I'm going to I'm going to do a check on the the Bus Foundation memberships since we we spoke. If you have missed the start of this, David said that if you if we get ten subscriptions um, to the Bus Foundation, while we're live on um, live on on the the YouTube channel, David will shave his head entirely. Also, ten subscriptions into the the Bus Foundation, um, and David will literally shave his head live on. Uh, YouTube, which he's even got his clippers handy. Uh, got the razor hat then. He's he's ready. So let's see. I've had one so far, so <laughs> nine, 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 nine to go, and I've got about twenty minutes left. So get your get your subscriptions in if you if you haven't already. Um, David will shave his head. He's probably not wanting to shave his head, but I think looking at his hair now, it's, it's getting. A... I was going to go back to the old days and grow a mullet. A mullet. Yeah. See, I'm go- I'm going to look like. Can I raise or something like this? But get a lot of matrix here. Any haircuts left, Benji boy? What's that? You've not got many haircuts left. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about? Look at my, I've got a good, good head out here. Look at this. Look at it. It's cracking. Nice and thick and dark. It's not even, not even going grey or anything. The beard, man, the beard's <laughs> needs a bit of work. I'm, like, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's getting a bit out of hand, but we'll see what happens. Next question comes from Declan Murphy. Is it someone you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's asking, Davey, How's your dad's camper van doing, old boy? The camper vans? <laughs> yeah, he's still rusty. <laughs> What's the story there? Your dad got a camper van that he likes to do oh, the like Yeah, about <laughs> yeah, he's mental. He's all Volkswagen, these old Volkswagen 1930s things, man. <laughs> ah, he's mental. He's got like a scrapyard in his garden or something. Just like a... Yeah, he's got a big workshop for that. And... Right. <laughs> that's for that. There we go. You've got a camper van, see, see Mr. Sime, he'll sort you out. Yeah, he, he did He did used to rent all the old-fashioned ones, all the kind of nice ones and that. He did used to do that. But it's nice. Like, well, that could be the team bus next year. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sime's Volkswagen Supporters Club or something. <laughs> could be, like, taking a day up to the games and that. Right, let's see. Let's see if we've got any... Um, any comments on Twitter? Let's see if we get any comments on Twitter because I've not checked the Twitter at all yet. So we might well have some questions in the Twitter. Um, no, nothing on Twitter so far. Um, you're quite big on your Twitter, aren't you, David? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I like my Twitter to be fair. I do. You like to like to stir it up in the Twitter, don't you? You're quite. A... No, no. I, I just I like a wee a wee flag in there and then. I think there's obviously a few boys watching this that are obviously a bit. Their feelings got hurt on Twitter a wee bit too much for them not being that's how they like Alex McWatt's performances on Saturday some Saturdays, man. He'd gone because of the Twitter and that. Aye, it's not that bad. Oh, I think the gaffer needs to find a new left mid or something because <laughs> maybe he'll, maybe he'll get his new boots if he signs up. He's been nah, nah, more than nah. a bit new boots for about a whole season. Nah, right? he, he's obviously he's trying to win go new boots. I think that's his deal with him. So he, he doesn't get paid a lot. He's just an amateur, isn't it? <laughs> just, just gets paid in boots, boots, uh, and, boots and shinies. I think it's paid in the kind of Sundico things for sitting on the bench. As Carlo said, he's a good number 16. <laughs> a good number 16. There we go. <laughs> that's that's class. Love that. Let's see. Any more comments on the YouTube? Um, what would you say the goal of the season would have been this season? In what terms? For us, like, who would we have? Um, a goal think, of the season I think Carlos at Clyde Bank at home is the best goal of the season but in contents of a game Mines is the best nobody could do that in the 96th minute last kick of the ball we Carlo would we Carlo would <laughs> <do> that. <laughs> I mean Carlo was pushing for the like the world record and he told me he was, he was texting me a couple of months back before the, the season finished and he was, he was aiming for the the world the world record of um, free kicks the night free kicks scored um, in a season which apparently was eight he was saying and I think he got to six um, by the time the, the season finished ah, you remember the guy Janino Janino used to play for was it um, Middlesbrough yeah, yeah. he apparently held the record and he was got to try and beat beat that record that was his oh, plan well, Carlos had a, a good few free kicks didn't he he's won uh, it he's won it medal in the start of the season brilliant yeah he won it Ock and Lech. Paul and stuff like that. So I, I think I remember thinking back to um, one of the times 
it was two or three games after, um, and he was about to hit one. And because everyone had seen him score a few, I just felt the place went silent. Like the whole the whole crowd just like stopped and was like total silence before he had it because everyone was like anticipation from to to zing it in. I he's, he's 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 I think he said maybe he probably has about eight since I've been there. He's put in the top corner. And I can I say to him it was a way to. I think it was a way to walk and like I said, reverse it, put it the other way, put it the other way because he'll go away lane that. And I said, nah, no chance. He's still not getting it. You know what I mean? So, and he did, he just put it right away lane. <laughs> then, it decent. That's why he hits them and you don't take them. Uh, I, 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 I've kind of said, we Alex, we Alex has tried them for the other side and he's miles off it. He's absolutely miles off it. I'm playing for that side next time. Honestly, the gaffer may, the gaffer may as well sub him and put him on. He's back. He's back. I got. Oh, what's that? Oh, good is that for me? Is it I? For me? Uh, send it in. I went to Aston Days, better 10 on Easter eggs. It's a bloody deal. Just because it's much cheaper. I was like, I don't need 10 Easter eggs, but do I pound each or something? So why not? Uh, I've got a question that's come in. Uh, and the question is Who's your biggest critic? My dad. Followed by Chris Strain. Fair enough. Why do you think? Why do you, why do you think that? What they, what they like? They analyse your performance uh, after my, a game? My, my feeling comes to every game, home and away. Uh, I think every about half an hour, 40 minutes after the game, I get a phone call. You just see, Dad. And I, when I get beat and I've had no the greatest of games, I just I just hear Pff, in the phone. I don't even get a word. I just get Pff, <laughs> I mean, that's all I get and then when I do well he says aye he's quite good today he? and that and, aye he does not well, give me compliments he always says aye the team was quite good today if we were quite good and then once I have a howler man he's just all me well I suppose man if he's paying your wages he's quite like aye, I, heard, I heard the rumour about that aye my dad's tight on two coats of paint he's about four quid he's paying for nothing he tries to get the button, never mind pay the six pound. <laughs> Obviously, the comments about that, your, your dad pays your wages, not just there for. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a bit harsh, but there you go. Uh, listen. Confirmed. I wish it was. I wish it was. Right, I got a question from Gary McLaughlin. He's asking the gaffer signed on for three years, um, and he sees kind of big changes over the next five. Do you see yourself staying for the challenge in the next few years? I will. He said to me on Twitter that he, need, he says uh, he needs three three years to kind of deal with me, uh, <laughs> sort me out. And I don't think three years is going to sort me out. So I think he'll need these ten years at the, at the boss to sort me out. Well, I think he's if he gets if he finishes his three years, that's him being ten. Right? So I mean, if he gets testimonial, we could play his testimonial on that. You could get oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Let's see what else I've got in the again the YouTube or the and Facebook. So there's anything else? That's, Happening. I'm trying to run two computers here, so apologies if I'm looking away and people think I'm not being observant because I was told that last week that I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention apparently. So I've got to try and up my game. Um, right, no more questions at the moment. Um, let's see. Remember as well, if you've got any questions about the Bus Foundation, drop them in the comments. So I'll be able to answer those. Um, Davy. Doesn't know anything about the bus foundation really, do you? So you're not going to answer them. I just, I, can't, I didn't, your, your, wee, your wee picture thing wasn't very clear. What picture thing? Your £10 and £40, it wasn't very clear. It was all mixed in. What do you mean it was, what do you mean? Like your, your standard and your premium. It so was how we, big list. Aye, it was two sides. It was like left and right. Aye, so, I know, but I, I, didn't, I didn't ken what one was which. You were kind of carrying on, it was... I don't think it was very clear. Seems to be the only person that said that so far, Davy. I don't know if that's. Oh, it's just me. I'm a wee bit dyslexic, Matt. So. Ah, it was a two. It was two lists. Ah, I seen stuff. Of the stuff. So, what's the problem? It, it didn't seem like premium was premium, if you know what I mean. So, like, the gaffer's going to be taking up the the media manager position next season anyway, so it's fine. He's the <laughs> he's the he's the new media manager. He's been. He's been um, he's been on Twitter. I've seen some of the stuff, stuff on Twitter. So I've been Chris. He's been getting some good results on the old Twitter. He's been getting loads <laughs> of new loads of new followers and and yeah, likes and yeah, retweets yeah, and all that. So yeah, that'll work. Eh? The gaffer's get um, so I'm going to be picking a team next year. The gaffer's mm-hmm. going to be 
uh, the media, to the media, social media, and that. So that's a, that's a setup for next season. So, right, we've got about ten minutes left. If you get any questions for for David, drop them in the comments on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, um, and we'll be sure to ask them on here. Uh, I don't think we get any more at the moment. Well, let's just double check on the Twitter, see if there's any. Day. Um, <laughs> Carlos commented. There we go. The players are coming out. Um, the, your teammates are coming out now. You ask some questions. So let's see. Um, let's see who's who's coming. So Carlos commented. Um, he said, "You have to ask. Uh, I have to ask him. Do you remember getting sent up the road?" Oh, aye, aye. aye that's 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 a. I, I, it was. I get threatened with it every training session. If I don't, oh, really? if I don't button it, I'm up the road. So one day I did, but and then I did walk up the road. <laughs> there we go. Him. So <laughs> Sam, Sam McCloskey's come in, yeah. um, and he's asking, "How does it feel to be the second best defender on the team?" Second best. Aye. Oof. I think Sam thinks he's the best. <laughs> so, uh, so he's saying there, I think that's what he's alluding to. I think the gaffer said he was a bit nervous in the ball and that just usually kicked out the bat. So I think he needs to pick the nubby, but I think. <laughs> um, William Johnson's asking, would you prefer to play the Ibrox with Kelly instead of Celtic Park? Yeah. Big time. I was at, uh, played, uh, played Rangers in the Cup. Sat in a bench. Let's see if we get any more comments. Let's see, I think Sam's come back perhaps with another comment, has it? Let's see. Nah, he loves it, the wee man, doesn't he? Tell William. <laughs> He's asking, um, Sam's come back saying, um, ask Davey about the state of his boots. Yeah. They're shockers, the pink wings. I, I said this before, but they're, yeah. they're, they're howlers. They're no shockers at all. It's only players that can able to wear them, not mean. Well, it's Sam and that. They can be really. Oh. Nah. See, when you kick the ball at the park, like 10 times a game and that, you can't wear them. Let's see, like, we, we Alex McWatters couldn't wear them and that. He doesn't get the end product for that. You know what I mean? I feed him with the balls and then he duffs the balls and that. It's just incredible. So who could wear them in the team then, apart from yourself? Borderline Carlo and Gaz. Borderline. Borderline. Aye, close. Aye, Chrissy McGowan, Sam McCloskey and that. <laughs> No. Nah. Two left pegs, they've not got a right foot to stone on, not mean that they swing at it, they swing at it with their right, the two of them. They try and duff up the line, the two of them with their right, and that it's just honking. Got a question from uh, Kelsey Kelly. She's asking, Can I get a puppy, please? <laughs> She's in my ear dementing me, man. It's not happening. No fancy it. Nah. She said have to go and see a dog tonight, and that. <laughs> tonight? <laughs> she already arranged it, aye. She already arranged it for you. It's a KC registered blue eye, whatever it is. <laughs> super dog. Aye, uh, it's a super one. <laughs> Cost you a fortune, probably. Aye. Uh, two grand. Eight. There you go. If anyone wants to donate a dog to to David and Kelsey, then hit him up. We can. Aye, for a couple of weeks. I uh, get one. Get one on loan. Like... There we go. Uh, what kind of dog's that? It's a staffy. Uh... I don't want to do a staffy. What a wee, a wee fun thing, a wee cuddly thing. But I maybe you could get a loan of one. You could like be last season loan. What a, wee, a lockdown special or something. A wee loan. Yeah. It's a 12 week loan deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I keep joking about. Uh, so, another question um, has come in. Um, what ground uh, it's from the Boyd79 on YouTube, and he's saying, What ground do you dislike playing at? And what's your favourite ground? What, juniors? Obviously, I'm at the just, junior level. Aye, well, let's go with that. Aye, let's go with your favourite most junior grounds. Uh, favourite ground? Boss Park, isn't it? Aye, well, the, the new one is good. Abbey Park was up and down. It was like boulders. You were running up and down boulders all the time. It was up and down. Uh, I think the best pitch this year is Coburnley by a mile. By a mile, their pitches. I don't know what happened. I don't know how they've got their pitch. Their pitch used to always be dra- they drained and all that in the winter. And that it was always terrible, but it, it's been immaculate all year. Uh, 
for the worst pitch I've played on is Kello Rovers a couple of years ago. Oh my god, I was just I just joined the juniors and I thought to myself, oh no, if this is like more junior grounds, what if I came to? Uh, it was winter time. It was uh, you couldn't play football at all. I was just the punters must be just watching their necks must be sealed with that amount of high boys are watching. I mean, a comment on Bede's pitch, that slope at Bede must be a must be a bit of a challenge sometimes. Ah, uh, yeah, it's obviously it's just how, however you take all in the day, but the, the the actual pitch is usually really good, but it's just obviously the hill is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's just one, which is one size shooting down and one shooting shooting up. I mean, it's. Well, I said, I've, only, I've only obviously been involved. It's the same for both teams, but isn't it? Well, I say we're half each in it, I guess. So, um, I've only ever been, I've only been to Bees Ground once, and that was at the start of the season there. And I couldn't believe it how how much of a slope we were talking about. It was no, unbelievable. It was, um, I'm surprised but, um, you swapped it for the Astro. The Astro. Ah, yeah, because it's flat, isn't it? It's a proper flat. I don't know. Next question comes in um, again from Core Rangers FC Buffs TV on YouTube, and they're saying. Why did you why did you sign for Cowan from Trun? Uh, it's a hard one. That uh, obviously the Chris Strain was wanting me this. The kind of before the start of the season, they kind of messaged me saying, "Do you fancy a move and stuff like that?" I think we the Trun one. The obviously I, I, I left Cowan Beef. I never knew much about the juniors. Uh, I can my old coach at Kilmarnock up was at Trun, and he said. He always used to pest me like saying why coming through and stuff like that. And uh, I kind of said to them one day, I wasn't, I wasn't my work in that and for Cowden Beef, I kind of said to myself, I, I need to get closer to home. So I never kind of I never knew much about the juniors, and then I kind of played against Cowan in a cup game, and obviously the gaffer messaged me after that saying, "Do you fancy coming to the bus?" And that's how that move came about. Obviously, I started this season with Trin. I was in a long term contract there, and yeah, obviously paid paid money for me and took me for Trin. Oh, I bet you. I bet you. I was talking about that. They paid money for you. That bet you. That's a. No, it was probably free. Oh. <laughs> the, you have got to be a, be a, be a, a transfer. A couple of Easter eggs and that was me away. A couple of bottles of milk and that. Yeah, a couple of cartons and that was me. I done deal. Let's see who else. Not much more in the question for We've got a few minutes left. Oh, Colin Brown's come back in my question. I'll just get that. Uh, Who's the worst coach you've ever worked under? That's from Colin Brown. It's like a toughie, isn't it? Nah, nah, that's no. Nah. Lee McCulloch. Lee McCulloch. What was it so bad about Lee McCulloch? I don't know. I just, I don't think we've seen eye to eye, to be honest with you. Not yet. He wasn't in a same fan club then, was he? Nah, he, he didn't think I was a player, obviously. Yeah. The best, the best coach, the best coach. It was Alan Robertson, but the best kind of manager I thought was Alan Archibald. Uh, that party was it? Aye, the best manager, like man to manage skills. He was, he knew how he get the best out of players. Uh, obviously, they're in a sticky moment, you know, but Archie was the best kind of man manager on that. And I, th- I thought Lee McCart, Lee McCart, it was me even a kind of blue eye, a kind of blue eye thing, kind of. I'm a blue nose and that, and I thought to myself, oh, to him coming in, he's a legend, or no, I mean, went the other way. Yeah. He didn't last for you on the day, so that's no, it's not a big problem. As you see, Alan Robertson also had a, a big and important part of your career. Uh, yeah. well, I, kind so of, nice. I, I always, always had a kind of problem with my training and stuff like that. Obviously, Chris Trim will know that I had a problem with my training. Like I've still, like I wasn't the hardest trainer on that, and Alan always used to kind of stick with me because. I knew what I could do on a 90 minute game, not then. Let's see. Let's see if we get any more questions. We're nearly out of time, um, unfortunately. And oh, Andrea Boyd's come in and says you can um, you can watch um, their dog when they go on holiday. So Colin and Andrea have got a, a cab up out. Um, you, can, yeah. you can watch that. There you go. The decisions, honestly. Oh, that's perfect. She's delighted now. That's me. I don't need to go see a dog tonight. Yeah. No, you're just gonna dog for two weeks holiday. No, they'll watch it. No, wait, they can... that. no, it's theirs. It's their own dog. You can. No, they're no, gonna no, lend no, you. No, no. I want my dog. We're getting. I bet you next time he's on a Q&A live, he'll have a wee puppy here. Right. 
Uh, we'll look forward to that then. I'll, 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 we'll check in a couple of weeks and we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll ask some more questions. Let's just check if there's any more questions before we, we let you go and get back to River City or something. Like, probably watching it 8 o'clock is up here. No, I'm on the nest. Oh, you know what? It's the last one yet. Nah, oh. I've still, get, still get two to go. That's what so, so I'm saying. Uh, I watched it last night. It was tremendous, but I, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. I know that for sure. Um, right, let's see. No more questions for, for, for David at the moment. Um, so we'll let, we'll let David go. Um, thanks for, for coming along um, and answering your, the questions um, that I've said tonight and obviously all the fans' questions. Um, we're looking forward to seeing you back um, in, the, in the Blue and White Hoops uh, at the start of next season. So um, cheers, David. And we'll, we'll speak to you soon. Colin Bruns just messaged me on Facebook saying, get the heat shaved. I said, well, you need to up your subscription to hundred a month. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Colin's already in. Colin's already in. He's, he's, uh, yeah, he's only, the early, the yeah. early members. Um, I mean, there. if you... I'll get the huge shave, no bother, not mean. So it's there. Well, there you go, right. We'll, we'll, we'll set it as a challenge. Once we hit 10 more subscribers, uh, up until next week, we'll, we'll get we'll get the heat shaved. So. Oh, I think it's going to shave the night, to be fair. It's too long. Aye, straight off. Aye. Just take just the room then. We'll have to come watch. There you go. <laughs> she's 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 not interested. She's just got the postcode for the dog. That's, I'm not getting my hair. I'm not getting my hair. I'm not getting my hair chopped off. I'm going to see a dog. Brilliant. Well, I hope you I hope you get your dog, man. Uh, no, I'm not. Like, no. Take it in the milk room, are you in that? Right, they will let you go. Thanks again for, for coming on. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Hey, cheers. See you later. See you. All right, so that's the that's the end of the the Q and A with uh, Master David Sam himself. He had some great questions, some great answers um, as well um, to that. And he wasn't he wasn't he back? Was it coming forward? Was he in regards to his um, his teammates? I think he was um, he was quite quite into digging out his teammates here. Next week we're going to change it up slightly. We're going to have um, a live uh, uh, quiz. So we've got six rounds of football questions. A few questions are about the buffs and. Uh, sorry, a few rounds about the buffs. Uh, we're going to do it on, a, on an app called Kahoot.it. So make sure you've got that for next week. Uh, you'll need some sort of um, laptop or um, mobile phone to, to watch the, the quiz and you're on your mobile phone or an iPad or whatever to uh, answer the questions. Uh, the winner of the, the quiz will get a, a home top. Um, one of the home tops. I've got one actually right on queue. So I've got one of the... the the home tops you can get one of those um for winning the quiz also we'll have a prize for the best um the best team name so gather some of your friends and you can you can put a wee team you can maybe even go on zoom or house party yourselves and do it from different places and answer the questions on on the app and uh, as you say if you get any questions about the the bus foundation drop us a message um or comment on twitter or facebook and um, we'll be sure to answer them as i say we've nearly got about just nearly 40 subscribers now, so um, we're pushing. Uh, we're doing really well. The uptake's been great so far. Um, remember, we understand completely that it's, um, that it's a difficult time for everyone, um, financially, stuff like that. So if you can't do it just now, that's not, that's not a problem. We don't expect uh, uh, for anyone, but if you can, we would really appreciate it. If you can't and you still want to be a part of it, perhaps in a few months' time, still complete the form. Um, I'll be in touch with you. To, to discuss it anyway so we can set up the payments and stuff like that at a later day it doesn't have to be um, once you sign up on the form that's you um, part of the the bus foundation so um, we can sort that out on next week right as I say that's all for just now we'll be back uh, same time same place 7pm 7, 7 as normal for the the, the big buffs quiz uh, I'll be asking all the questions uh, we'll be using the Kahoot app the Kahoot app to to actually uh, answer the questions so it'll be all about Kind of being the fastest person to answer um, the questions will, will be important. So get prepared on, on the app. You can do that um, say at your leisure and we'll be ready to do it 7pm next week. But until then, we'll see you later. Cheers. <laughs>